Diamond Friends. It's Linda from Diamonds for Linda. Thank you so much for joining my channel. I really appreciate it. Today, I'm going to try to do a kick down. I'm going to um, just fix something really quick. So I apologize if this moves. I'm going to try to just get right into the kitting down because I don't know how much space I have on my phone. I have to record and delete everything. <clears throat> <clears throat> that I record so I can't save anything. So my kit down is really easy to process. At first I was using this chart, but I don't even use this anymore. Um, so I have one of these photo boxes for, um, I hope I got the right one. You know what, I got the wrong one. One is for resin and one is for acrylic. So let me go ahead and put everything back in this box and I'm going to grab the other one. Should have double checked on that. <clears throat> okay, I got the right one now. Let me see. Yep, this isn't the right resin. So, and I put both square and round in the box. And eventually, I'm pretty sure I'll need to get another box. But for now, this is working. Okay, let me just get back. Nobody's home right now, so that's why I could do this. So let me take the lid off and put that aside. So what I have here is I bought all these tabs on Etsy and they have they have the DMC number, the name, and a picture. I know you can make these yourself, but I just wanted it all done for me. The box I bought at like Hobby Lobby or Joann's, but I bought these on Etsy. The bags I bought on Amazon, I will have everything linked below. And then right now I'm just using these extra trays. Sorry, I'm out of breath now. I'm using these extra trays just um, to hold this up for now. And I have some extra bags that, again, I will link all this stuff below. And I have my little, isn't that so cute? And that's just so I could put, I don't know if I'm going to be able to because this is going to be too high. But normally I use my little marker to mark where I'm at. But because I, you guys are super low so we can see everything, I'm not going to use that bookmark. I will just use, maybe I'll just use a tray if I even need to. So that is what I do. And I'm going to kit down. Oh, I also have these numbers in case I need them. But usually I just write them down on here because it's easier. Um, these are just like really cheap ones that I got, for, got off of Amazon and I just started using. And since I had them, I thought I might as well use them. I got these from DP with sparklers, and this is for my square. Basically, I figure if I don't have a sticker, that means I don't have a bag for it. So that's how I do it. I don't, I'm not keeping track on that piece of paper or anything anymore. So I'm just gonna put this right here, and then we are kidding down, <clears throat> excuse me. We are kidding down um, Enchanting Book. These are resin drills from Bella Art, Bella Art Diamonds. So I have this over here and I usually have a pen, the bags, and, and then I am ready to go. So I'm just trying to do everything in this little space so it could be where you all are. Okay, so I'm going to move my stickers on this side. And hopefully if, if I get cut off and all of a sudden end, that's because the, um, <clears throat> because the recording just stopped and I have no more space. So I might just upload it that way because the software that I use to the editing software that I use on my phone well I won't go into all that we'll just get this going okay so this is for DMC 402 so I am going to just check my little sticker sheet here and yeah this is square 402 so I have a few of these sticker sheets and let's see. So do you save your drills? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so we have 402 right here. So I know there's not a bag for this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a bag. And I'm only going to get the sticker 402. And I'm going to put it right here. Where did I put it over here? 
Oh yeah, I put it on the lower section. So I'm just gonna put it right here. And I am going to just empty it into the bag. And that's all I really do. So what is your kit down process? Do you kind of have the, um, the photo box and all? So basically, um, so I keep all my resin round and squares in this box. And then I'm just gonna find 402 is somewhere in the front that's 356 and then here's 402 right here and so it shows that I do have 402 in rounds and then I'm probably gonna need to start moving some of these over now because it does feel kind of squishy <clears throat> and I have my resin in this one and then acrylics in another box that looks just like this and uh, the reason why I do that is actually I don't remember why I just know I heard um, Joan on Joan Diamond Paints. She found that um, I I forgot if it was a size or just kind of like the color. So she keeps hers separate. So, and this is from Mar not Mary's Diamonds. It was formerly Mary's Diamonds, but it's now Bell Art Diamonds. So as you can see, these stick pretty well. Maybe next time I'll use washi tape. I'm not like super picky about how they look afterwards, but I just don't want any white sticking to them. So maybe next time I will use washi tape if they are all, it's hard to get off. This one's 356. So we're just gonna go to our little chart here and see if there's a 356. And there is, so we're going to take this off. So that is basically how I kit down. And I have a few few of these that I need to kit down. If I already had one of these bags already made, I would double check just to make sure that the colors match because sometimes even though they're the, the same DMC color, sometimes they don't match, like they're a little bit off. And if that happens, I will. that's when I will use those other stickers or the or the roll right here to make another bag and I will put and I will put them in a separate bag okay 356 so how are you all doing let me know in the comments here's 356 I have more rounds right now than squares so if I were kidding down a round I wouldn't have to get so many bags out and I don't mind that these bags kind of stick a little bit higher than the card. I think some of it might be just that this is really squished. I wonder if I should, I think I'm going to take three trays or two trays out because I already have the third one. And I'm going to move this back a little bit. So that's 3024. Nothing else is there. And I think what I'm going to do is just take a handful from over here. And so this is how the cards look. I'm just gonna put that here because I think this one's getting too full and that's why all my bags are kind of sticking up. But I'm okay with the bags higher. You know what I probably should have done? Is I should have started putting the stickers up here instead so that way they would kind of show since those are higher than the cards. But so like right here, this is nine, seven, six. So this is how, this is the bags that I'm using and they, so they normally aren't all that, they're not really taller than these cards, but I think it's just the way I have them right now. And I'm gonna, I'll try to fix everything. I think that they're just too squished. So, okay, let's see how this one comes off. So it looks like Bella Art Diamonds. I probably should have got my trash. That's what I should have done. Um, stick pretty well on there, so. But if you use your nail, you can pretty much put most of it off. Let me grab my tray. I mean, my. I think I'm just going to leave the trash like this. It's one of those pop up trash thingies, but I think it'll be fine. Just a little like that. Okay. So now it's 355 or 3. Yeah, 355. And we have three, five, five. 
<clears throat> so yeah, maybe I should have put them up higher. I wonder if I should try that. I just figured that if I'm gonna be opening and closing them that it might ruin the sticker. So, let's see. It smells so good in here. My husband bought me some flowers. And I think, I need to check the water on there. I think they are, um, like, I'm not sure what they are. Stargazers or something like that. But they smell so good. I could smell them just from, they, they, um, they're beautiful and they smell super nice. Okay, three, five, five. That's I'm supposed to be in the three, three, five, five. I should probably put lotion on my hands. Oh, there's three, five, five. So like three, five, five, I already have the rounds, but I probably have like, see how these two were three, five, five, but I don't know if you can see, see how they're different colors. So those ones, that's why I have two bags already there. Yeah, I really think I might need to take some more bags out. Let me, let me go ahead and take a few more trays out and back all this up. And the dividers, I haven't figured out really what I want to use, but for right now I have this watercolor paper that's super thick and that's what I, that's what I used just because these are, um, Oh, it's this one. This one's water paper. This one's regular paper. But this is water paper. So I'm going to make some more. Sorry about my arm here. I'm just going to grab some more. Let's see if I could make it so eventually these bags can go down a little bit more. Okay. So I didn't really think of anything to talk about because um, I guess it's a kit down and chat but I was thinking I would have enough to talk about which is kidding down <laughs> my diamond painting I mean how I do this but I don't think it takes that much explanation so you know chairs I see a lot of people that they have gaming chairs to diamond paint and I thought um you know that's a, a nice idea and I'm hoping to save up for a better chair. Because right now I'm just using a folding chair that has a little bit of cushion on it. But so as diamond painters were leaning forward a lot, when you're gaming, you're more up. So how does a gaming chair help? Is it just where your bottom is on the chair? So let me know your thoughts because I'm trying to figure out what kind of chair to get. I mean, if a gaming chair, their chairs are expensive. So if it's, because I don't understand because we're leaning forwards and those gaming chair have all, gaming chairs have all that stuff for your neck and back, things like that. So I'm just wondering, how does a gaming chair help a diamond painter? Let me know in the comments because I am trying to figure out what to do. I don't want to hurt my back. Right now I have no issues, but I do notice that my shoulder on my left side, I diamond paint with my right hand, but I have noticed my shoulder on the left side, sometimes it feels like it's going to sleep. Like, you know how when, you're, it's, when your hand or your foot feels like it's going, going to sleep? Sorry, I need to cough. I don't know why I always have to cough when I'm going to record. Let me get some water. Um, I feel like my, that's only the easiest way I could explain it with my shoulder. Cause it feels, feels like it's sleeping. It doesn't hurt like pins. You know how when you're, when your foot is kind of waking up, it has, it just hurts. Well, it doesn't feel like that. My water looks yucky because I put some electrolytes and some baobab powder. The baobab powder has a lot of vitamin C. So I'm trying to stay healthy through the winter. 347. And I think I'm probably going to need stickers for most of these because I said these are squares. And I have done, I've kitted down a lot of rounds. 347. So 
so yeah so my kit my kitting down is pretty basic and I don't throw them out because right now I'm just trying to get at least a bag of each in case I'm missing some drills because my first diamond art club that I did I was missing drills and I had to wait a few weeks to get them and I didn't like that it's not like hugely awful but this way if I have some I don't have to contact a a business I don't have to contact the shop I could just go to my little storage I'm not sure if I will ever really use them for anything else I would like to maybe save them for a cross stitch or something like that but we'll see and then since they're such nice drills I need to just throw them out do you save your drills so yeah so I um I don't have, I only have one budget friendly diamond painting, so I'll, I don't know if I'll save those drills, but I haven't done the diamond painting yet. Let's see, 310. I'm sure I have the 310, yeah. Let's see, 310. That's right here. So here's the square. So what I do, and I usually use my white tray. I have a, I should probably put it in here because I have a essentials tray that I like. That I like to use better. This one's actually kind of nice. So what I'm going to do, and I'm sure these will match, but I'm just going to show you just in case I don't get another opportunity. So what I do to make sure that they're going to match is I have them in a white tray. Then I grab my bag. And it kind of shows me like how they're gonna look. So these ones pretty these ones look like they'll match. And then I just put them in here. I actually like this tray. I think this might be a, one of those diamond art trays. That have a stopper, but I don't really use them too often. So then, get this in there, and then I just try to take the air out so it doesn't have more in there to take space in my box. And then I'm going to go back to the 310. This is where I usually use that bookmark that I have, the cute Randall Spangler. Of course, you could use any bookmark. And then, see, these are my 310 rounds, and I have this is probably my second bag, so that's why I have it that sticker there. But I have been, and I'll use this too. Mine, I don't, everything doesn't have to look super pretty or consistent. As long as I have the diamonds in there and I know the color and all, I'm good. Take that off. And see how it's like that. Since I'm going to put um, either another tape or washi tape or whatever, usually it's not going to show, so it doesn't bother me. If it did, I could, all, I have that goo gone. So I'll probably eventually do like a good cleaning on some of these, but I'll try to remember to if if because I, I think the Diamond Art Club ones they they don't leave anything they come off pretty easy. So yeah, I'll just I'm just trying to see which ones which ones stick, and then I'll just use um, washi tape. <coughs> Excuse me. I've always been just too lazy to do the whole washi tape thing, but maybe it'll be worth it. I'll try it next time. 224, I think that one's already in there, so we'll see. Let me just get a drink again. I don't know why my throat just gets all wacky when I'm gonna film. If you are a content creator, does that happen to you too? So two Okay, sorry about that. My phone, like I said, just ran out of space. So I guess at 19 minutes, it cuts off because I don't have enough space. I'm not going to make this much longer. I just wanted to do, I just wanted to share how this one, I already have the 224. And I already have this bag. So what I'm going to do is, put, again, put it in the white tray. There's hardly any, actually, now that I'm looking at it. But if I had a log, so it probably wouldn't, probably won't even matter since there's so little bit. So I just kind of look through, through it like that and, you know, they look the same. So 
so I'll just throw it in here. But again, this is like, this was not a great example. There's hardly anything. So let's see. Let's get this in there. And then, again, I probably should have got a shorter bookmark, so I don't have to keep looking again. But that's 223, 24. And that's why I'm going to put that there. So that is basically it, what I do. Another way, another thing you could probably do is, just so these don't stick, if you don't want to do the whole washi tape, is like, kind of put the sticker on your pants on the sticky side and just kind of like tap it a little bit so some of that stickiness will come off. There's a 221, or yeah, 221 which I don't have a bag for because I have a sticker right here. So yeah, that's what I do. Super easy, not complicated, not the prettiest or organized, most organized way, I guess, but it's working for me. So then again, I have another one of these. It's, it's the exact same. I bought them to look the same. And I have those for my acrylic look around and square two two one here's two two one so and that is it and then I'll just finish up my um finish it up and now I can get another I shouldn't really be kidding up anything else. I don't think I, well, I don't want to say I don't think I am because I'm going to kid up the astronomer. I'm going to start that next month with Mia. And yeah, I think that's going to be it for a little while, at least until next year, which isn't that long because I'm going to do the year of the large canvases and I am going to be working on you know what I need to kit up is that cottage, toad, toadstool cottage. I need to find that, that painting and uh, get that one kitted up. I don't know what I'm going to kit that one up in because I don't even know how many colors it is. That's, that's that really big painting that I really want to get started. So I guess I will just let you all go because... I don't even know if I'm going to be able to upload this, so we'll see. I really need to figure out a different way to do videos now since I don't hardly have any space. And I've been trying to figure out a way to get all the photos off my phone. But I just, um, I would like to transfer them to my computer, but I just haven't had any luck with anything. So i got to figure it out. Maybe that's what I'll do today. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, Y'all have a great day. If you are here to the end, maybe you can put a the diamond emoji since we are kidding down all these beautiful diamond colors. And um, remember to live a life filled with color because it's so much prettier that way. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.